Okay, so here you have the meat arsenal. Uh, Christ, now I have to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different paintball guns, and I'm not counting that one right there, the 98 Custom Platinum Edition, because that is my friend Jeremy's. Wildly enough, uh, just sent me a text message. That was really weird. Irony. Anyway. So you have, starting from right to left, you have an old SL-68-2. Now this is not the one that Tipman just remade. This is the original, as evidenced by the fact that I can't even put a normal hopper on it. I had to go with an old hopper. Pretty much, this gun is almost as old as I am. And that's kind of scary. Then you have, up front, almost disappearing into the couch, you have the T9. Technically, it's a T9.1, because it's first strike equipped. Anywho. Then you have the 98 Custom Pro, right there with my Custom Desert crap paint job that did not turn out at all how I wanted it, but still looks awesome. You have your paintball barrel tagging device, in my case a knife. You then have a smart parts ion, not a GOG weapon, but an actual smart parts ion. And in the back there, you have um, what's left of an Armatech Arm WG65A2. Now, that's not in real functioning order, and it has a crap paint job that I spray painted on there when I was younger. So, that's why it looks like crap. But, still an amazing marker. Um, the only problem is right now it only fires one shot and you have to recock it. But it keeps firing, so for a single shot it's not bad. You then have the TPX Tipman pistol in a custom leather holster. Made by me, of course. Because that's apparently what I do in my free time. I make leather stuff. <clears throat> you then have the X7 Phenom custom paint job, which I'm actually quite proud of. Uh, with a and j ceramic barrel on the end. And a... UMP slash G36 style folding stock. And comes the prettiest of my guns. <sighs> a CCI Phantom acid wash with a 45 grip and a vertical stock. Uh, it's a vertical stock class. So it's got the vertical uh, 12 gram CO2 changer and 15 round tube. Obviously a pump gun. And then the biggest and heaviest of all my guns, the rocket launcher. Firing nerf rounds, it's made by JCS, it's a pretty awesome weapon. Of course then you have the uh, flurry pack which disappears into the uh, black couch which, you know, sorry it's the only kind of couch I had. But you've got a double pod holder here, and then another one here, which is actually a uh, 4 plus 2 with the tank in the center. And it's actually a pod pack and not a vest. So, much lighter than the average vest. But yeah, I think that about covers it. Um, this is my arsenal. Of course, you've got the Tac Tiger in the back with the hat on top of the uh, ion. And the pants and the uh, jacket in the back. I think... What was the first gun I got of this group? It was probably that 98 Custom Pro. Yeah, it was a 98 Custom Pro. Then the Armatech. Then the uh, T9, I think, came before the Ion. Or maybe it was the other way around. Ion before T9. Either way. Then the... Uh, was TPX was this year, so then the X7 Phenom, the TPX, the knife came about, what was that, Living Legend 2, so that was two years ago, so a little bit older than everything else, 
the Phantom came in, bet uh, in between the X7 and the TPX. That was for Christmas this year. And then the rocket launcher I've had for something like three years now. All these guns, except for the uh, arm attack in the back, are in perfect working condition. And I'm quite proud of that fact that none of them actually broken down. And I'm impressed that the SL-68, which I got last year, uh, actually works. Even though it's been, you know, collecting dust in someone's garage. Here, let's take a closer look at the arm 